Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if the controller is not working, the first step is for EA app users. So if you have the game on EA app, then close Steam. So if you have Steam open, close Steam and that should fix the problem. But still not working. The next step is to disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Sometimes you have extra controller connected, disconnected and then launch the game. If you have these devices connected or any kind of USB adapter, dongle connected, disconnected. If you have any kind of virtual controller connected then you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then launch the game and that should work next is to disable steam input now this is for steam users so go to steam and then make a right click on the game i don't i have the game on e app i don't have the game on steam so i will show you a different game this is just an example make a right click on the game and then go to properties and then go to the control tab and then select disable steam input now launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try enable steam input and check which one is working fine for you and then check now the next step is for non steam users you can add the game to steam so if you don't have steam you can go to steam website and then you can install steam from the website once the steam is installed now you can create an account login to steam account and once you're logged in on the bottom left here you can see add a game option click on add a game then click on add a non steam game and if you see the game in the list you can select the game if you don't see it you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so in my case it is installed in c drive program files ea games metal nfl 25 and then select the game exe file now click on open and then here you can see game added put check is there now click on add select program now once the game is added uh, you can check the game yeah. now once the game is added now you can launch the game from steam and then check the controller if that does not work do the same thing with e app you have to add e app to the steam so again click on add a game no, add a non steam game and then click on browse and then go back go to c drive and then check where you have the electronic arts folder so it's in program files so open program files electronic arts ea desktop ea desktop scroll down select ea desktop and then open and then click on add selected program now once ea desktop is added now launch ea app from here and then launch the game and then check the controller now the next step is to configure the controller now for this you can go to steam and then click on settings and then go to controller tab and then if you have play if you have xbox controller then you can turn on enable steam input for xbox controller and then check if that does not work you can turn this off if it is already on then turn it off and then check playstation controller users can select enabled in games w slash o support you can select this and then check if that does not work you can select enable and then check check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to launch the steam in big picture mode this is for steam users and then launch the game so go to steam on the top right here you can see enter big picture mode icon click on it and this will launch steam in big picture mode i don't have the game on steam but if you have the game on steam uh, you will see the game over here now you can try to launch the game in when the steam is in big picture mode now the last step is to use wired controller so if nothing is working you can connect your controller using the usb cable or cable and then once you're connected through wire now you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel